Welcome back. With in-person classes canceled for the rest of the school year, schools are reporting a drastic decline in online attendance. And now experts warn this may affect a generation of students for years to come. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Well, good morning. It is April 19th. I'm Keely Arthur. We're going to get a check on your weather with Chris in just a second. But first, there are now more than 2.3 million cases of coronavirus worldwide and more than 160,000 deaths. More than 39,000 people have died right here in the U.S. In an interview set to air later today, the Washington Post is reporting that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is getting ready to announce a new bipartisan deal with the Trump administration to replenish funds in the small business loan program that ran out of money this past week. Well, starting this week, Wisconsin's Safer at Home order goes into effect. While it continues many of the policies that have been in place for the last month or so, there are a few changes. Starting this Friday, local golf courses will be able to reopen with restrictions, of course. Clubhouses, locker rooms, and pro shops still have to remain closed. But tea times can be made over the phone. And starting tomorrow, two ramps will be closed for several months as part of the ongoing I-3990 expansion project. The northbound interstate ramp to Milton Avenue in Janesville will close as well as US-14 ramps to I-3990 northbound. The DOT expects them to be closed until mid-July for concrete paving work. Well, Chris, I'm talking about golf. I'm talking about uh, road construction. It's certainly the weather's kind of cooperating with the warm up. Right? Absolutely. Temperatures now are warmer than they were at this time yesterday, too. That's despite the fact that a cold front came through. You won't truly really notice the impacts of that cold front until later on this afternoon. Madison starting out 11 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. Lone Rock starting out 16 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. Here's weather track, though. You do see where we had the cold front move through. Now, most of the cloud cover with that continues to push on towards the south and east. And truth truthfully, there was not a lot in the way of moisture associated with that either. So we will continue to see clearing skies moving back in as we go through today. Temperature wise, we're at 47. We've actually risen a degree now that the sun is coming up. But as you look towards the north and west, you see the cooler air and the northwesterly flow. That's going to keep those temperatures down just a couple degrees as we head into this afternoon. 47 right now. Winds are coming out of the west at five miles per hour. We'll top out into the mid 50s. We'll be at 52 by the time we get you towards 1 o'clock. Keels? All right. Thanks, Chris. More than 75 people are displaced this morning after an apartment fire in the 3100 block of Muirfield Road Saturday. Officials don't yet know the cause of this fire, but the Red Cross is working to shelter those who were evacuated. Madison Fire Chief Stephen Davis says there were multiple challenges fighting this fire, including high wind gusts and the absence of a sprinkler system. Wisconsin now has more than 4,200 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and state health officials say 212 people have died as a result of complications from this virus. New metrics from the Wisconsin DHS also show the fatality percentage of the disease in each Wisconsin county. Officials say 5% of people who have tested positive for coronavirus have died. 44,000 people have tested negative statewide. The Janesville Gazette is reporting six employees of the Bird's Eye Food Processing Plant in Darien tested positive for the virus Friday. That is according to an internal company email obtained by the Gazette. The Gazette says an employee who shared the email expressed concerns about safety at that facility. Well, round two of Wisconsin's Safer at Home order begins this Friday, effective immediately canceling in-person classes for the rest of the school year. Now, that means Wisconsin students will join tens of millions of students nationwide who are learning online for the remainder of the year. But many students are struggling to keep up, and some are not logging in at all. As schools report a drastic decline in attendance, experts warn students are rapidly falling behind. Meg Oliver reports from Montclair, New Jersey. I'm having a tough time adapting. Senior Asia Bryant thought this spring would be one of celebration, wrapping up her high school softball career and graduating. Your high school graduation has been canceled. How do you feel about that? Honestly, truly am sad about it. That was the landmark for me. That was going to be like the push. It was going to be like a big... Uh, exhale for me. There has been no exhale for Bryant. Since her Los Angeles high school moved to online learning, she's worried about falling behind. Do you have a spotty internet connection? Yes. 
Brian said her internet often freezes in the middle of lessons. We witnessed her spotty connection firsthand. Uh, did you freeze? Oh, I think you froze. Darn it. Hang on. Brian says she's still logging on and doing her work, but that's not the case for all students in the Los Angeles Unified School District. The district says for the first two weeks of online learning, 15,000 high school students did not log on at all. That has since been cut by about two-thirds. Many districts scrambled to get students' devices like laptops and Wi-Fi after schools closed, but there's a lot of catching up to do. Nearly 12 million children do not live in homes with an internet broadband connection. Class, how you feel? Ready to return. Dallas teacher Andrea Bazemore works at a school with a lot of students from low-income households. I had a student who was doing her reading lesson, and we were on such a great momentum. Um, but we had to stop about 10, 20 minutes in because uh, her data had run out. Um, and her mom said, hey, I got to stop. Um, I need to go somewhere with Wi-Fi because I didn't have Wi-Fi in the house. Are you concerned that they're going to be left behind? Oh, I'm absolutely concerned. We talk about summer slide. Right. Uh, um, students decline over their reading and math skills over the summer. We're going to have a corona slide. And it's going to be very, very significant. Education expert Dr. Karen Aronian agrees. She said data is already pointing to a very steep decline. This is a crisis right now. We know uh, we're looking at, with reading, a 30% drop-off. And in math, 50%. The Los Angeles Unified School District says they won't fail any students during this period. Back here in New Jersey, some school districts have suspended spring break and are requiring students to continue online learning. As you can see behind me, that is not the case in our district, where we are trying to build a treehouse. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Montclair, New Jersey. Well, coming up at 7.30, we're going to look into how canceled classes are impacting standardized testing like the SAT and the new ways colleges are responding that way. More local news now. Starting tomorrow, Madison College is offering a free six-week online program to help people through these uncertain times. It's being called the Fundamentals of Well-Being. The college says the course will help people find new ways to deal with stress, explore living in the present, and learn how to manage their emotions. I don't know that we've ever done something of this scale for free, but we felt very strongly as a team of um, instructors and designers and then had the backing from our leadership to offer it for free. Because at the end of the day, Madison College is a community college. And one of the things that we feel very proud of well, also this week, some big stars from New Jersey are raising money for their home state. Bruce Springsteen will perform along with John Bon Jovi, Tony Bennett, John Stewart, Whoopi Goldberg, Danny DeVito, Chelsea Handler, and more. The special will be called Jersey for Jersey. It will air this Wednesday, April 22nd at 8 p.m. local time. The money raised will go to the New Jersey Pandemic Relief Fund. Along with the stories of tragedy and loss, the coronavirus pandemic will be remembered for bringing out the best in people as well. That includes the organizers working to support both struggling businesses and exhausted healthcare workers in hard-hit New York. Every night at 7, the streets of Manhattan erupt in cheers. Residents showing their appreciation right there for healthcare workers on the front lines fighting COVID-19. On Long Island, Teresa Sullivan shows her appreciation with food from her kitchen in Huntington. Sullivan has raised about $150,000 through Facebook. She uses that money to buy meals from struggling local restaurants, which are delivered to Huntington Hospital. The lightest day we've had is about 400 meals going out. The heaviest days we've had are well over 1,000. How does that make you feel? Overwhelmed with so many different emotions. You know, this has really given uh, me something positive to focus on. Sullivan's work inspired another Huntington native, Liz Burnich, who now lives in New Jersey. She teamed up with another woman, Gina McGuire, to launch the Frontline Appreciation Group, 
or FLAG, which provides meals from local restaurants to about 15 departments at Morristown Medical Center. Very cool. Well, time right now, 7.09, and we're keeping the good news coming with some of our favorite stories of the week. And our favorite weather of the year is ahead. Our favorite meteorologist will give us a little breakdown. Stay with us. Keely, I can't believe you're leaving, but I wish you the best of luck as you move on to Raleigh. The weather's definitely better there, especially this time of the year. Certainly going to miss working with you and having you on the morning team. We had so much fun together. Always had a smile on your face and such a pleasure to work with. I'll especially miss filling in on Sunday mornings when we always seem to have drinks on the show. Best of luck, Keely. We'll miss you. Hey Keely, it's Ari, your favorite producer. Um, I just wanted to say congratulations and that I'm so proud of you and so excited for you. I cannot wait to see everything that you do in this next leg of your career. I'm always gonna be your number one fan. So uh, we'll really, really miss you here. And don't forget about us when you become big and famous. Love you. During these challenging times, many Habitat homeowners are hard at work on the front lines. Others have lost their jobs. Please consider making a donation to ease their financial burden and help us bring stability to families in our community. No one asked for this to happen, but this is our time when our hearts, our humanity, and our communities rise. This moment will challenge us. It will define us. It's why we are here, but this moment is not bigger than us. And we will show up every day for you. Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health. Know how much you matter to this world. Imagine facing Wisconsin's bitter cold winter without a warm home, or the blistering heat of summer without power. Then having to make the tough choice between eating or meeting other basic survival needs. Unfortunately, over 200,000 of our neighbors in need will face this difficult decision with no place else to turn, including those who are now unemployed due to the COVID-19 crisis. Keep a neighbor in crisis safely in their home during these difficult times by supporting and donating to the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund today. It's time to freshen up around your yard. This year, don't struggle with bulky bags of mulch. Call JR. JR's Mulch Sales is spreading around. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection remains open to serve our customers and communities safely and quickly. We've offered 24-7 emergency service for over 40 years and will continue to do so, especially during these times of uncertainty. Our service trucks are on the road serving Dane County and all surrounding areas. During Safer at Home, we've got you covered for all your plumbing service needs. Call us for help. We are here for you. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2020 Ford models. Grand Appliance and TV is committed to serving our customers and neighbors now, just as we have since 1930. If you need an appliance, we're open, and you can shop our website 24-7. We've expanded our live chat, email, and phone support, and are here for you with an extra 5% off most purchases. Our delivery pros can do a no-contact drop-off delivery or full in-home install. Grand Appliance and TV. You know us, and we know you. You can count on us. Get the facts with Reality Check, only on News 3 Now. Good Sunday morning, folks. We are waking up to the sunshine here in South Central Wisconsin. Oddly enough, that is even after a cold front swept through as we went through the overnight hours. Today will once again be awesome. Well, more rain chances coming in as we go through the week. None of those look to be washouts at this moment, but Nonetheless, they're going to be there. Here's a cold front. It's continuing to push towards the south and east, but oddly enough, it is right on top of southern Wisconsin at the moment. There's really not much moisture to work with until you work your way well to the south. High pressure back towards the north and east, the north and west rather. That's going to be taking over as we go through time. That keeps us under the influence of a north and northeasterly wind today. 
So temperatures will be just a couple degrees cooler than they were yesterday, though the winds won't be as bad. Doppler track over the upper Midwest shows you the only areas where we're seeing precipitation really at all is across parts of the UP of Michigan. Here throughout south central Wisconsin, we remain clear because skies remain clear as well. It's beautiful out there. 47, your temperature right now. Notice those winds coming out of the west at 5 miles per hour. Northwesterly winds just towards the north and west. Camp Douglas now jumping up to 40. We're at 42 in Viroqua. We'll see these temperatures begin to warm now because the sun has come up. So that's starting to put its energy into the ground, and that's how you end up heating the air as we go through time. So as we put things into motion, here we are at 11 o'clock. The temperatures are at 49. Yesterday at 11 o'clock, temperatures were in the 50s. So you see what I mean now when I say we're a couple degrees colder, but not drastically. We'll top out around 55 later on this afternoon. Overnight tonight, we're tracking those lows all the way down to about 33 degrees. Then we'll see more sunshine headed into early Monday. I expect temperatures stopping out right around 60, but one of the things I'm watching into Monday is the model timing has sped up a little bit on a reinforcing shot of cooler air. It's now wanting to bring this in into the early and mid part of the afternoon instead of the overnight hours. So we may have to contend with some shower chances as we move into your Monday afternoon instead of late Monday night. But that allows skies to clear out again into Tuesday. Tuesday, however, is a day that will be much cooler as we see this little shot of some colder air moving in. But then we get a blast of warmer temperatures coming our way as we work towards the end of that work week. 60 for Monday, 49 for Tuesday, 67 for Wednesday. We call that the emotional roller coaster of Keeley leaving. <laughs> Wisconsin's doing it herself. And then oh, yes. we will see temperatures stabilize into the low 60s, upper 50s as you go through the week ahead. More rain chances Friday, Saturday, and early Yeah, Sunday. that's what my week's going to look like. Monday, Tuesday, it's going to be <laughs> fine and then like as things settle in I'm gonna get more and more waterworks are gonna be happening. It is fine. It is fine. We're prepared. We are prepared. <laughs> yeah. Get your get your raincoats on with all, all right. the tears I'm about to shed. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. My pleasure. Well, every week people across the country are coming up with new ways to protect and celebrate the real heroes in the COVID-19 crisis, healthcare workers. Next, we'll show you how one act of kindness led to a nationwide movement called RVs for MDs. That's next on News 3 Now this morning. Hey Keely, thanks for making the weekend show really fun to work at and making us all laugh. Thank you for always bringing a smiling face into the weekend and making sure that we were always in a good mood. Good luck at your new station in Raleigh. Keely, I've been struggling with this video. I don't know how many takes I'm on, but I just can't wing it like you can. I'm going to miss working with that kind of professionalism on the morning shift almost as much as your companionship. But also just to make sure to keep you humble moving on and up into these TV markets. There's always the Dairy Expo. Download the Channel 3000 app today. For over 40 years, Kitchen Idea Center has partnered with discerning contractors, designers, and architects, bringing their clients' vision to life, featuring Play-Doh woodwork cabinetry. Kitchen Idea Center, designing for you and your life. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. And I brought you a gift so you can fight properly. Red Bull. Oh! How nice. Of you. But also... Rather. Stupid. Hmm. Mine. Mine. No, mine. No, mine. 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 Uh-oh. -uh. Mine. <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. 
Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2020 Ford models. When you think of a bank, you think of people in a place. But when you have the Chase mobile app, your bank can be virtually any place. So when you get a check, you can deposit it from here. And you can see your transactions and check your balance from here. You can save for an emergency from here. Or pay bills from here. So when someone asks you, where's your bank? You can tell them, here's my bank. Or here's my bank. Or here's my bank. Because if you download and use the Chase mobile app, your bank is virtually any place. Visit chase.com slash mobile. Searching for a new kitchen? Look no further than Kitchen Ideas Center, a trusted kitchen design center for over 40 years, featuring Play-Doh woodwork cabinetry. Kitchen Ideas Center, designing for you and your life. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Well, welcome back. People across the country are coming together to protect the families of healthcare workers from exposure to the coronavirus. Myra Virelli shows us how one act of kindness led to a nationwide movement called RVs for MDs. It is real and it's people are dying. When you're fighting on the front lines, rest is often the last thing on your mind. You can be old, you can be young, and the patients are very, very sick. Um, Yannick Douglas-Mattis is a nurse practitioner working with coronavirus patients in an Atlanta ICU. With a husband and three young children at home, two considered high risk, she wrestled with a very powerful fear. When I went to work and I saw the gravity of it, I called my husband, I said, like, I don't think I can come home. The babies, I think I could get them sick. That's when a friend told her about this Facebook page, RVs for MDs, a group that connects people in the medical profession needing to quarantine with someone who has a camper nearby for free. Hi, Molly. Hi, Ellie. I'm in my backyard. I can see them. I can't touch them and, and kiss them and, you know, smell my babies here. I am I am okay and I'm just I'm just grateful. I am really filled with gratitude. Hi guys, Hi. how are you doing? We miss you. Emily Phillips, a mother of three, was the first to post a plea for help. When you posted this online, did you think anybody was gonna respond? No, I, I just thought maybe somebody might have a an RV or, or camper, so we just were throwing things out there, and I got an immediate response. Emily's husband, Jason Phillips, is an ER doctor in North Texas. As I had a high chance of getting exposed, and I think my wife came up with the best solution. I really didn't want to stay in a hotel full time and be separated from them. Emily turned her experience into a movement. There are now more than 22,000 people in the RVs for MDs group. So far, at least 345 matches have been made with hundreds pending. Emily runs the group with more than 100 volunteers, including Holly Haggard, the first person to offer up her RV to the Phillips family. It doesn't matter who you vote for. It doesn't matter what your religious beliefs are. None of that matters. Everybody has just come together. There are successful matches from Virginia, California, and North Carolina. I read about the first emergency physician that has passed, and it, my stomach sank, and I'm like, we need this now. Dina Cretion turned to the group to find an RV for her husband, John, an ER physician. There you can see the camper behind us. And Tanya Sheets drove three hours to deliver her camper. We knew that he was on the front line taking care of these patients, putting himself at risk. We had to jump in to do something. John expects to quarantine soon. And how long could this last? We don't know until we know that he is safe and it's okay for us to go back to normal. Hey, look at this. Wow. The road to normalcy may be longer than most would like, but the journey just got a little bit smoother. Whether it's kindness that connects us or love that connects us. All right, Mama, love you. I miss you. Love you too. We will come out of this entire situation much better. For CBS This Morning, Mireya Villarreal, North Texas.
Well, there is still a half hour of news ahead on News 3 this morning Sunday. Next, we're running through the morning's top stories, including the changes to Wisconsin's safer at home order that will go into effect this week. And the extension of that order means many standardized testing dates will have to be canceled. How colleges across the country are responding and making it easier for students to apply. We'll have those stories when we return. So one of the things I'm going to miss most about you, Keely, is your way of spreading kindness. You do so with me with these mindfulness cards every day. So this morning, I'm going to read you one, and it's a thank you. The more we look, the more we see that our lives rely on hundreds, thousands, maybe even millions of other people around the globe. Well, Keely, I know a lot of people rely on you, and you are going to keep doing amazing things. Stay well, and we'll miss you. Keely! This is Will Loper. Just wanting to wish you the best in your journey moving forward. You were always such a positive presence to be around, whether it was working a shift with you or my segment or just seeing you around in the newsroom. I know you'll find success in whatever you do, and I wish you the best of luck. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. And with great deals available, there's never been a better time to buy at your local dealership. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. We asked real customers what they really love about Spectrum Internet and TV. Spectrum Internet has the fastest speeds for everything I do. There is no turning wheel. It's immediate. Spectrum is the fastest. Bam. <laughs> Get the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance with Spectrum Internet, delivering starting speeds of 200 megabits. That's more than enough for all your devices for $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. I can't get over how much on-demand Spectrum has. I can literally watch a new movie every night. I got all my shows, and he's got all his shows. With the Spectrum TV app, I can watch live TV anywhere. It's perfect. Add Spectrum TV and enjoy more free HD and more free on-demand. Plus, use the Spectrum TV app to watch live TV on the go. All from $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. The fact that they don't have contracts, that says a lot about their service. Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. Install Spectrum services yourself. Get a self-installation kit shipped right to your home. Call 833-906-4499. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2020 Ford models. Please join Madison Magazine, News 3 Now, and Channel 3000 in supporting local businesses. and hours of operation, go to madisonmagazine.com. Thank you for supporting local businesses. COVID-19 has forced us to adapt like never before. At News 3 Now, that means more of us are reporting from home because we need to do our part to help flatten the curve. But that won't stop us from giving you the information you and your family need to get through this crisis. From health and safety information to employment and financial updates to stories of ordinary people doing something good. We're here for you because we're all in this together. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning. It is April 19th. I'm Keely Arthur. New this morning, there are now more than 2.3 million cases of coronavirus nation or worldwide and more than 160,000 deaths nationwide. 39,000 people have died right here in the U.S. Some states are gradually starting to relax stay at home orders while others are bracing for the virus to hit its peak later on. In an interview set to air later today, the Washington Post is reporting that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is getting ready to announce a new bipartisan 
bipartisan deal with the Trump administration. That's to help replenish funds in the small business loan program that ran out of money this past week. Meanwhile, this weekend, the president criticized governors and blamed them for a shortage of testing in many states. We got along, but we have a tremendous lab capability, laboratory capability all over the country. And for some reason, the governors, uh, they're not, a lot of them are, but some of the governors like to complain and they're not. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says there is some, quote, very good news as his state continues to see a decline in the number of COVID-19 hospitalizations, intubations, and deaths. But Cuomo says his state desperately needs additional funding from the federal government if it hopes to reopen anytime soon. It is as tumultuous a time as we have ever seen. But in the midst of this, there is no time for politics. How does this situation get worse? And get worse quickly if you politicize all that emotion. Experts now say the U.S. must more than triple its coronavirus testing to safely reopen the economy. Researchers at Harvard's Global Health Institute and School of Public Health say the goal should be at least 500,000 tests a day. Right now, the number is closer to 150,000 a day. The researchers say the percentage of positive tests is just too high right now as well. They say that means the U.S. doesn't have a grasp on the severity of this crisis. Well, starting this week, Wisconsin's latest Safer at Home order goes into effect. While it continues many of the policies that have been in place for about a month now, there are a few changes. Governor Tony Evers announced new flexibilities for some businesses and an update for how outdoor activities will be handled moving forward, including golf courses. Starting this Friday, local golf courses will be able to reopen with restrictions. Clubhouses, locker rooms, and pro shops still have to remain closed, but tea time can be made over the phone. The governor's order extension is being met with both praise and pushback. Those against that order are planning a rally at the state capitol this Friday, the end date of the original order. A group called Hashtag Reopen Wisconsin is hosting their Facebook page, saying they are a community of like-minded individuals who value freedom, want liberty, and honor the Constitution. Thousands of people have already RSVP'd online. Well, whether you're protesting, going golfing, maybe construction, there's still a lot going on <laughs> in the world, and the weather is going to make all those things easier, right? Yes, Mother Nature is absolutely cooperating as we go through this weekend. We saw the sunshine yesterday though it was downright windy. Today we'll see more sunshine. It'll be a couple degrees cooler, but it won't be as windy. We had a cold front move through really a couple of hours ago that's still pushing towards the south and east. Meanwhile, it's this area of high pressure that's going to be sliding south and east. That means more sunshine for us. We're a little bit cooler, 47 right now. Winds around to the west at 5 miles per hour. We don't warm up as well as we did yesterday, but we'll still see a nice warm up. 55 is where we're going to call it for today's highs. Winds will continue out of of the north and west. One of the things we're tracking though, folks, it's when we could see that next chance for rain coming into the picture sometime tomorrow. We've been anticipating this to arrive overnight Monday into Tuesday, but some of the model data is coming in a little bit faster. Check the time. This is 2.30 in the afternoon tomorrow. We'll keep you updated in that first one forecast. Keely. All right, Chris, thank you so much for that. Well, each year, nearly 3 million students take the SAT test to get into college. But this week, the College Board canceled all spring and summer test dates due to COVID-19. As CBS News' Marin Austin found out, colleges are responding, making it easier for students to apply anyway. With school doors locked and shuttered across the nation, classrooms now look like this. These are like my AP study guides. Inside Honor student Kiana Sadiq's bedroom, big plans are being made. My dream school since I was five years old is to go to USC and I want to be an orthodontist. To get in, she needs to take the SAT. But this year, the coronavirus outbreak has forced the college board to cancel all spring and summer test dates. It's a little disappointing that we don't have as many opportunities to take it like previous classes have been able to. You want more opportunities to take this test. 
Exactly. Admissions counselors across the country recognize how difficult this time is for high school students. This month, dozens of colleges dropped SAT and ACT requirements, including Boston University, Northeastern, and Williams College, along with Texas Christian, Western Michigan, the University of Oregon, and the entire University of California system. Robert Schaefer and nonprofit Fair Test have pushed test optional for years. It took a pandemic to get colleges to say what 20 years of research about test optional admissions and the experiences of 1,100 schools had already proven. Test optional admissions is a superior way to evaluate applicants. It produces better applicants in a more diverse entering class. College counselor Jeff Morrow is advising students to focus on what they can control. The ways that you invest in your community, the impact that you have on a classroom, on a campus, in your neighborhood, these are all things that are really good indicators of the way that you'll invest in your community when you're in college. But about 1,300 colleges still require standardized tests, including USC. I have studied so hard, and if they took it away, uh, I feel like all my hard work was for nothing. Preparing nightly for a test, even if the test date itself is uncertain. Marin Austin, CBS News, Los Angeles. Well, we're working to find any glimmer of hope to hold on to right now. And next, we'll introduce you to several people working to do just that, including a group of friends who aren't letting the virus stop them from safely celebrating an expectant mother. We'll find out more when News 3 Now This Morning continues. You know, Killy, it takes guts to leave something that you've always known that is safe, to take a risk, take a new challenge or a new adventure. And I admire you for that. As hard as it's going to be to lose you, and it's very hard to lose you, you are ready for this, you have earned this, and I am so excited for you. Good luck, stay in touch, and go make us proud. Together, we can do this. Our spirit is what unites us. It is what bonds us and reminds us we are all one. Which is why if you need a vehicle during this time, we are offering 0% financing for 84 months with no payments for 90 days. And the ability to shop and buy from the safety of your home. Better days are ahead. And Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram will help you drive forward. Are you nervous about leaving your parents' phone plan? You got this, dude. <laughs> you could have... It's just a plan. Nope. Individual plan phobia. Plan phobia? Mm-hmm. We got your back. Switch to your own plan at U.S. Cellular and get $400 back. Plan phobia? Mm -hmm. They got your back. Switch and get $400 back. Only at U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. Do you worry about going to the dentist? Well, relax. The Carefree Dental Card is now available in your area. Call the number on your screen and we'll send your actual card at no cost today. With the Carefree Dental Card, you go to the dentist whenever you need and you instantly pay a lot less. The Carefree Dental Card is just $15.95 a month. So call now and make going to the dentist carefree. Call 1-800-451-3571 to receive your free Carefree Dental Card information kit. Help is what we've always given. So thank you to our helpers at BMO and beyond. Thank you to the healers, the fighters, the all-nighters, the cleaners, the movers, the 18-wheelers. Thank you to the farmers, the grocers, the above and beyonders. Thank you to all the frontliners for keeping our lives moving when the world needs to stop. our pick and save associates for the long hours and late nights for the miles traveled and the shelves restocked for making a difference in our customers lives for doing so much more than your job everyone at the Kroger family of brands and our customers say thank you in a time when daily life feels a bit uncertain your hard work is keeping America fed pick and save fresh for everyone Hi, it's Jan from Toyota. As part of your community, we're here to help you during these challenging times. Keeping your Toyota safe and reliable is important, especially right now. 
Many of our service centers are open. Schedule service online and drop off and pick up your vehicle with no contact. Need to replace your old vehicle? Most Toyota dealers offer online shopping and will defer your first payment for 90 days. We're here for you. Contact your local Toyota dealer to see how they can help. Toyota. Good morning, folks. Of course, it is a beautiful day out there temperature-wise. We're starting out into the upper 40s for a lot of folks. In fact, Madison is coming in at 47 degrees right now. We're seeing those winds out of the west at 5 miles per hour. That is after a cold front came through the area overnight last night. But one of the things I am watching as we look ahead is the fact that we have a small probability of above normal precipitation as we go through the next 6 to 10 days. Coming up here in about 5 minutes, we're going to be breaking down that full forecast and when we can see more rain chances here throughout South Central Wisconsin. Well, I appreciate you bringing the sunny weather today. Thank you, Chris. Some stories to make you smile. It is a difficult time, especially for moms to be, but a surprise baby shower parade helped one soon mom to be this weekend. When the shower was canceled, she was in tears for probably a good week or two. Very sad, but she's she feels very blessed too, to be healthy. Yeah, I think it's definitely been challenging just because uh, we coach together, so we are used to seeing each other like three to five days a week, and um, just not getting to have that social interaction has really, really been difficult on all of us, but especially her. So as you can see in the video, people drove their uh, cars that they decorated and honked and even left presents. We wish her and her family all the luck in the world. Well, hundreds of classmates, friends, and neighbors in the village of Maple Bluff lined up in a parade of cars this weekend as well. They drove past the home of 14-year-old May Dunn. Dunn was released from the American Family Children's Hospital Friday after spending eight weeks undergoing treatment for a rare form of pediatric cancer. The community welcomed her home with hunks and signs. Dunn is an eighth grader at Queen of Peace Catholic School. We are so happy in your recovery, May. Whether it's staying home or making masks, everyone can do their part to help in the fight against COVID-19. That includes 90-year-old Tomahawk resident Henry Weidman. Weidman says he has been sewing on and off for his entire life, but now he uses it as a way to stay busy, stay home, and help others in our community. I was saying, you know, if you don't, if you don't use your body, you're going to lose it. And, uh... I try to keep active. Some wise advice there. Weidman says he's also staying busy during the pandemic by plowing. The dairy farmer says he's plowed 30 fields last year, but now that he's 90, his daughter talked him down to doing just eight. That's still very impressive. A Sunday night movie night is headed right here to Channel 3. We're going to tell you about the classics you'll be able to revisit starting this May in our trending news. And you are about to take a live look over. The Capitol Chris is tracking a gorgeous Sunday morning for you. Stay with us. But first, let's take a quick look at who is turning three today. Happy birthday, everyone. Keely Arthur moving south. What a change. You're going to have to get used to people other than me using the term fixing to mean something's about to happen, so get used to that. But they're still going to have flaming Hot Cheetos there, so it's going to feel just like home, except the weather's going to be a little nicer. Congrats, Keely. Hi there, Keely. How are you, my little sister? I just wanted to say congratulations on this next adventure in your life. We're really going to miss you here in Madison. I had so much fun working with you both at Channel 3, and then every time you called me for a lake interview after that. You're going to do great at your new job, and I just want to wish you all the best because you deserve it.
Amazon.com skills to enable Channel 3000 news briefs. Do you know the secret to having the perfect lawn? Maple Leaf Landscaping does. With their six-step turf care program, you can have a beautiful lawn all season long. Check their website for special discounts and leave the yard work to Maple Leaf, your year-round property care experts. At Mounds Pet Food Warehouse, we know that no two pets are the same. That's why each of our five Southern Wisconsin locations is wall-to-wall -wall with everything you and your pet need, including dog food, cat food, pet beds, thousands of toys, treats, and chews, and supplies for your small animals, birds, and reptiles, too. With so many options, finding what you need is easy. you got to get down to Mounds and see for yourself. Mounds Pet Food Warehouse powers them all. And don't forget your free Mounds candy bar. No, 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 this ain't no sandwich. Because on a sandwich, they ask you if you want cheese. But on a papadilla, cheese is what's holding the whole operation together. Get one now for just six bucks. For better ingredients, better pizza, better than a sandwich, Papa John's. Are you the kind of woman who puts everyone else first? But what about you? Our OBGYN team at Associated Physicians wants you to know that we are here to focus on you. Call us for an appointment today at 233-9746. From our family to yours, we want to encourage you to keep going. Keep protecting what's most important. Keep hopeful in the face of all this. Keep believing. Keep being strong. Keep supporting the people on the front line. Keep staying together while staying apart. Keep being fearless. And most of all, keep dreaming. American Family Insurance is mailing our personal auto insurance customers a premium relief payment to help them keep going. We'll keep being here when you need us. When we face adversity, we find a way through it. It's about taking care of each other. It's the small parts that make a big difference. At Chevy, we promise to do ours. We're offering current Chevy owners OnStar Crisis Assist services and complimentary Wi-Fi data. If you need a new Chevy, interest-free financing for 84 months with deferred payments for 120 days on many of our most popular models. You may even shop online and take delivery at home where available. It's just our way of doing our part. Do you know the secret to having the perfect lawn? Maple Leaf Landscaping does. With their six-step turf care program, you can have a beautiful lawn all season long. Check their website for special discounts and leave the yard work to Maple Leaf, your year-round property care experts. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Welcome to Sunday, folks. Temperatures will be a little bit cooler as we move into this afternoon, but this morning, temperatures are starting out on a little bit of a warmer note. We had a cold front push through a couple hours ago. That's now towards the south and east. It brought a few clouds during the overnight hours and some showers north and east of Madison, but the air was relatively dry, so the showers were not all that widespread. We're going to stay dry now as high pressure begins to move in from the north and west that pushes south and east as we go through time that means more sunshine through today but it also keeps that north to northeasterly wind flow around and as long as we keep that in play Temperatures are just a couple degrees cooler today as a result, but eventually that slides towards our south and east and we'll see more sunshine as we head into tomorrow. The upper Midwest as a whole is quiet. There were a couple snow showers across parts of the UP. We are quiet here as you work your way into south central Wisconsin. I expect that to be the case pretty much all day long. 47 right now. Winds are coming out of the west at 540, 50 now. They have jumped up. Janesville now at 50, 47 and Monroe. You see where the air is just a little bit cooler. That's of course filtering in, but we're still going to see the nice temperatures as we move into this afternoon. So chainsaw jumping up already 52 by the time you get you towards 11. Madison will be at 49 at that point. I expect highs to top out into the mid 50s, 55, 56, some areas around 53 or 54. That's going to be the uniform throughout the day. Overnight tonight, clear skies stick around. Those overnight lows fall to about 33. Some areas will hit freezing or drop just below. Most of us are going to be stable right above that freezing mark. Then we'll see more of a southerly wind into tomorrow. Temperatures jump up by 2 o'clock. We're at 57. I've checked an entire suite of models at this point, and all of them are leading towards a faster arrival of that front. So we're going to say those showers begin to arrive as we work your way into the early afternoon tomorrow. 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, we might see a 
band of some showers coming through. There may be a rumble of thunder or two embedded in that as well. The main cold front comes in during the overnight hours, though. That's going to mean a real chilly Tuesday. In fact, temperatures likely won't get out of the 40s as we head into Tuesday. This is going to be that push of colder air for that one. But then the warmer temperatures, they begin to develop back towards the south and west, and then eventually they work their way towards us. Watch this temperature trend as we go through time. 55 today, 60 tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry about Tuesday. And then here we go. We jump right back towards 67. And really, it's a little bit of a roller coaster ride, but temperatures are trending upward as we go through time, along with the average temperature trending upward as we go through time. The next rain chances that are truly substantial will, of course, watch tomorrow afternoon, but it's Wednesday into Friday that I'm truly keeping my eyes on. Maybe even Saturday at this point. It all depends on where a system that's going to be passing by towards the south truthfully tracks. But the warmest day of that forecast is Wednesday. I'm looking forward to temperatures being whew, into the upper 60s. That's going to feel really good. That is going to yeah. feel good. We are in the time of year where like <laughs> 60s feels really warm. Absolutely amazing. I, we were at 75 a couple days ago. We uh, were? It was like last week or something. It was okay. something like that. It yeah. was one of those days. Well, you would know. And I, <laughs> I we. went outside for a walk and I was like, oh, I'm breaking a little sweat out Get here. Get the pina coladas going. Yeah, <laughs> barbecue. Well, it's almost that season. I'm ready for it. All right. Thank you, Chris. My I am pleasure. Too. Well, let's take a look at what is trending this morning. A Sunday movie night is coming to News 3 now. Starting in May, CBS will give viewers the opportunity to revisit iconic movies like like Forrest Gump and Titanic. The five-week programming begins Sunday night starting May 3rd, and you'll be able to watch it right here on Channel 3. And some good news for Star Wars fans. Disney Plus is premiering Disney Gallery The Mandalorian. It's a docu-series about The Mandalorian. In it, executive producer John Favreau will take viewers behind the scenes of the show in the eight-episode series. The cast and crew will be featured, and each chapter will explore a different facet of The Mandalorian through interviews, never-before-seen footage, and roundtable conversations. This will debut May 4th, May the 4th be with you the star wars day fans celebrate all things star wars it will stream every friday on disney plus well time right now 751 our coronavirus coverage continues all week long every morning and night we're going to bring you a virus special report to keep you up to date on the latest numbers and any changes going on in our community you can find that on channel 3000.com and on all of our social media channels but first you've probably caught on by the message airing throughout the show today that today is my last morning here on the anchor desk and i'd just like to say goodbye and thank you to all of you we'll have a little bit more after the break. How do you say goodbye to your best friend? Keely, we have been inseparable since you first walked into the newsroom more than four years ago now. You have been by my side through all my ups and downs, always there for me. And as you take this next big step in your career, we're going to be there for you. We are all so proud of you. And even though I won't be able to hug my best friend across the newsroom anytime I want, we're all just going to be a phone call away. We love you, Keely. I've been fortunate to know Keely and work with her since she started as an intern at News 3, and it's given me an opportunity to watch her turn into the very, very talented journalist that she has become. But as good a journalist as Keely is, she's even a better person with a very kind heart. I know the viewers of News 3, and I will miss her as she moves forward to this next chapter of her career. But I also know Keely, and I know she'll do great. Best wishes, Keely. Take care. Hello, I'm Mike Mandel, inventor of my pillow. Just like you, I had problems sleeping. I tried every pillow out there and nothing worked. 15 years ago, I invented my pillow. It took me two years to develop because I wanted to have everything you would ever want in a pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so you could have the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that would last, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. I backed my pillow with a 10 year warranty and a 60 day money back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. I really like the fact that it was made in the USA. I think that USA products are a better quality product. I've tried a lot of other pillows and nothing's worked like my pillow. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress, topper, sheets, and so much more.
For example, you can get body pillows, regular $89.99, now only $29.99. Or my pillow dog beds for as low as $19.99 with your promo code. I used to think that sheets were just sheets. I got the Giza Dream sheets. They are the most comfortable sheets I've ever had. The Go Anywhere pillow is so easy to just roll up and take anywhere I want to go. Go Anywhere pillow is really comfortable, so that's what I really like. It's nice and supportive, and it's nice and small. The My Pillow Topper, for the first time, has enabled me to have a cool night's sleep. I'm able to go to bed and just get rest. That's three inches of wonderful that's in the My Pillow mattress topper. It's just like a firm cloud. My pillow helps me get a good night's sleep so I can do my job in the morning. Go to MyPillow.com to get deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but so much more. For example, you get body pillows, regular $89.99, now only $29.99, or my pillow dog beds for as low as $19.99 with your promo code. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. This is online learning. Today, it's more relevant than ever. This is you, a person looking for a lasting career. And this is Herzing University's Everywhere Classroom, where you can earn a degree in nursing, healthcare, business, and IT. Anywhere, anytime. Take an online course free and get comfortable with online learning. That makes a degree from Herzing University more relevant than ever. I'm possible at Herzing. Learn more today. We know you're worried about keeping your family healthy right now. We're all craving sunnier skies and warmer temperatures. But as we move into spring, you should know our First Warren weather team is preparing to keep your family safe during severe weather season. We're ready. Armed with the latest First Warren technology and an experienced team of meteorologists. So focus on your family. Your First Warren team has the weather covered. On air, online, and on your phone. Trust the weather leaders. The First Warren weather team on News 3 Now at Channel 3000. Welcome back. Well, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to everybody. I am leaving. I, uh, this is my last day anchoring on this show. I'm headed uh, to WRL in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, yeah, I don't even know yeah. what to say. Well, typically we goof off during this time. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hand you a box of tissues <laughs> so, <laughs> so we can goof off. But Keely, it has just been... Just incredible fun. Like I said, the video that aired at the top of the show, I mean, waking up this early in the morning is always difficult, <laughs> but waking up this early, knowing that I got to work with you always made it easier. So we'll see uh, how I do waking up next week. I'm kidding, <laughs> it'll be fine. But uh, we're proud of you. We're proud of where you're going. Raleigh's a great city. I have a lot of family, oddly enough, yeah, in Raleigh. Yeah, you've so. given me some tips about Southern <laughs> living. Um, no, yeah, Chris, Prepare you have humidity, been wonderful. I took this weekend morning show job on the idea that I was just going to do it temporarily. I ended up doing it for basically <laughs> a whole year. And like you said, it's these hours are really tough. Mm -hmm. But you, Christina, our gorgeous producer, uh, Sam, Brandon, Devin, Cody, all the people that work on this show have made it really easy to come into work every day. And then, of course, the viewers have made this. Uh, the city an amazing place to, to work in. It's a fun spot. I'm glad our paths could cross yes. in our careers. Let's give the viewers uh, one more final check of the weather. Okay. All right. All yes. right. So um, other than Keeley's tears, we're looking at sunshine <laughs> as we go through the rest of today. Temperatures top out right around 55 degrees. We'll be at 60 as we move into tomorrow. Um, I'm looking for shower chances popping up as we head into tomorrow afternoon. That's become a little bit more apparent as we've gone through the show. 49 for your Tuesday. So yes, it'll be cooler, but there's sunshine at least, right? We're bouncing back to 67 for Wednesday. Chances for showers return Wednesday afternoon. We'll keep them around through the weekend and into early next week. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.